Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike. If this video title looks familiar, it's because it is familiar. It's the first science video I ever posted almost a year and a half ago. And essentially it was taken down along with 188 other videos um, from my channel. 43.9% of all my videos were deleted by YouTube over the last couple days. Um, but this one I'm re-uploading because I think it's a fantastic video. It does show some age a little bit um, due to some of the editing and stuff I was using Windows Media Player or Windows Movie Maker. So um, I hope you do enjoy the video. It took me a really long time to make when I had originally made it. If I made it now, it'd probably be shorter. But um, anyways, guys, enjoy the video. Leave a like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Mike, and this is the science series I'm doing. There's no name for it. I'm just going to be talking about some of the big things in science, maybe some of the littler things in science that not everyone knows about. So this one's going to be real simple. Do aliens exist? Are, are they already here? Um, have they already visited um, Earth? Uh, this man has been trying to convince the world for a number of years. You may recognize him in a slightly different form uh, as seen in this picture right here. So, do aliens even exist? There are a couple hundred billion stars in Milky Way Galaxy that's roughly as many blades of grass on a typical football field. 75 times. And there are about a hundred billion galaxies in the observable universe alone. This is literally a photo from the past as it took millions and millions of years for the light to even reach the Hubble telescope to begin with. Each one of these dots and blurs and like individual swirls there are galaxies. And now not every star is lucky enough to have a, have a planet and you know, let alone habitable ones for people to live on. But still, the odds are tremendously promising for someone searching for life or someone who wants to look for life. Most people who actually think that aliens have come to Earth um, don't fully actually even understand the size of the universe itself. The closest star system to ours is Alpha Centauri, depending on, well, actually Alpha Centauri, there's about three stars um, orbiting each other and that's the star system depending on which one you're looking at depends on which one's closest to us and it's only about 4.37 light years away that's 42 trillion kilometers away which would be the same as running around the sun about a million times literally so with our fastest spacecraft that would be about 1,331,811.6 years. And that's with our face fastest probe that we have ever sent out in space. In fact, that number hasn't even been reached yet because it's predicted that it will go that fast by 2018. To put it in perspective, the first human fossil footprint, which was found in Kenya, Africa, is believed to be of similar age. With the time from the first recorded steps of man until human space exploration, a lot can happen. Likely, if we were to send a rover out there today, in the next few thousand years, it would be lapped by an even faster, more capable robot sent by us. Looking at the age of the universe, uh, other life would be either extremely primitive or very, very far advanced from us. So obviously we won't be seeing bacteria flying around in spacecrafts. Although there have been organic material found in asteroids, they aren't quite the aliens that people, you know, tend to imagine or tend to look for. Uh, you know, we look for more advanced species. Uh, one of my favorite scientists, his name is uh, Michio Kaku, he brought up a fantastic point on one of his shows he did on the Science Channel. When you see an ant on the side of the road, do you stop and offer it technology and trinkets to their little colony they have? Of course not. You continue on your way, you might step on them in fact. When humans build a road near this colony of ants, do they have the mental even capacity to even understand that we are building anything there? What that what exactly we are doing there? Of course not. The same could happen with these within our solar own solar system, and humans may not even have the capacity to even detect such activity of an alien highway traveling right past Earth. If you're not familiar, humans transmit information over the internet in a number of different complicated ways. Essentially, the message is all scrambled up, sent into packets, and then reassembled at the end. If, if a single piece of this signal is recovered, the information is essentially meaningless. It would just look like background noise. When humans look for other life with their giant radio telescopes, all we're hearing is just static noise from the universe. What we may be listening to are packets from a part of a message that is traveling across the universe between different life forms completely. Without all of the information and without the means to accurately even transcribe this message, there's no way to tell what we're even listening to. So it's kind of hard to think about. 
Aliens most likely exist, but the journey to Earth would be so far they either couldn't make the trip, and if they did, if they could, they'd be so far advanced we probably wouldn't even know it.